Hi there, I'm Derm McDermott bringing you a special look at China with Ed Jones, Chief Executive at World Economics in London. So Ed, the Sales Managers Index for July, which is an index you monitor closely, shows strong activity but at a declining rate. However, confidence among sales managers remains very high, with confidence that business conditions are likely to improve in the coming months. Now, can you tell us more about the findings in this report? Yes, the headline sales managers index for July uh, came in at 57.4. This was down from a March peak of 67.3, which is still consistent with rapid economic growth for the whole economy. Of the sub-indices that World Economics reports, we saw that the rate of drop-off in the future business confidence index has started to ease, indicating that salespeople continue to remain confident about future prospects, and this could have been just a period of seasonal calm. The general market growth and product sales indices both continue to report good rates of growth with index readings of 60.3 and 63.8, respectively. Taken together, these indicate the economy is continuing to grow rapidly. The prices being charged on new sales remain stable in July, with, which show that sales managers are passing on modest supplier costs increases to clients. The final component of, component of the sales managers index is the staffing sub-index, which came in at 52.8, which suggests that managers are increasing staff payrolls at a cautious rate to help maintain growing demand. Overall, as from the China Sales Managers Index, it reflects a decline in the overall rate of growth, but still in the region of about 7.5%. And looking at the currency on late Tuesday, the yuan increased against the US dollar, taking cues from the reference rates set by the central bank and the yuan's strength on the offshore market. So what are your thoughts on this and what are you expecting to see from this currency and the central bank? China is the second largest uh, economy in the world with a popula population of over 1.3 billion people. Over the past year, the World Price Index has consistently reported that the Chinese yuan is undervalued against the US dollar, currently by 6.8%. Over the past 19 months, we have noticed that the yuan has increased in strength by 2.5% towards parity with the dollar, which is going to affect the spending power of the growing consumer base through increased inflation. Government and central bank policies are going to be key in keeping inflation under control. In 2008, the Chinese authorities unveiled a 4 trillion yuan stimulus package, which had big effects on growth rates, pushing it up to around 12% during the first quarter of 2010. Since this time, the central bank has tightened monetary policy to rein in the housing bubble and preempt a rise in inflation, which we can currently see. At this point, it looks like the authorities are aiming for a more controlled rate of growth, with the stability of the yuan being key. Official consumer price inflation is around 1%, which they need to keep an eye on when considering their future policies. Thank you very much, Ed, for that. Well, viewers, do stay tuned to Dukoscopy TV, and tomorrow I will be looking at South Korea's economy. But for now, goodbye.